An habitual traffic offender charged with causing a deadly crash is ordered to undergo drug treatment. This after prosecutors revealed new accusations against Laura Reel it was arraigned today in connection with the tragic death of motorcyclist Colin Foote. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Pito joins us live now from Superior Court in South Kingstown with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Prosecutors claim that Real used somebody else's urine to pass weekly court-ordered drug tests. She was given an opportunity to make bail at $20,000 on the deadly crash, but on that probation violation on the drug charge, she's being held without bail. State your name. Laura Real. Laura Real stared straight ahead, with her mother breathing deep at times on one side of the courtroom and the victim's family watching from the other side. You can't be a human being and not be totally outraged. Um, by what happened here. His son, 27-year-old Colin Foote, was stopped here on West Beach Road in May. Real is accused of blowing through a Route 1 red light and crashing into Foote. It is a charge that now tops a long list for Real. Since 2002, nine speeding tickets, four stop sign violations, two accidents. The third crash, deadly and devastating to this family. Colin's mother and brother saw the crash from a car at the same intersection. My wife and, and, and surviving son were doing everything they can that day to protect Colin. Colin did everything right, and uh, this was a totally devastating and, and just a horrible thing. Real admits smoking pot the morning of the evening crash and was undergoing methadone treatment, but she does not face any drug charges connected to this fatality. Foote's family tells us watching the proceedings is difficult, but necessary. How can you be nothing but, but angry and horrified? But uh, somehow we have to figure out how to manage these things and deal with these things. One way they say they will do that is by following the process real due back in court in August. Meanwhile, coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk about the legislation motivated by this tragedy. Live with the South County Mobile Newsroom in Wakefield, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.